Okay, so what are we going to do today? I don't know, but it We're looks interesting. We're going to do a really boozy mm. Caribbean mm. pineapple mm. on the Cadax Fire Chef 2. Well, that's different. And when I say boozy, it's nothing to do with the wine because that's wine, but it's what we've got is we've got sugar here, we've got butter, we've got Caribbean spiced, well, Captain Morgan's spiced rum and pineapple. So that's what we're going to do. So the boozy bit is the sauce that we're going to barbecue it in mm -hmm. on the Kadak. And that's very simple. And we're just going to throw that together. Do you need some more room? Do you want to pull the thing up? Oh. Ta-da! Yeah, there's there one. We go. Oh, you see. You watch, I won't use it now. No, probably, but no, still. Yeah. So all we need is some dark brown sugar, some butter, and some rum. Because everybody has dark brown sugar in their caravan, don't they? Of course, and some butter and some rum. Yeah. But you can prepare for these things. Yeah, all right. If you're going away and you think, what am I going to do? I want to make a really nice dessert. We've got friends coming over for a bit of a barbie in the mm -hmm, tin tin. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Mm, Why not? Absolutely. Or if you've had a nice lunch somewhere and you just want a bit of a dessert, you get back to the tin tin, you can do this. It just gives those sort of, you know... Bit extra. Bit extra. Anyway, no, the I've got some dark brown sugar. You're not putting it all in there, are you? Of course I am, because you'll get the gist of this. Okay. So there it is. Um, how much is that? Um, it's a Tupperware pot full. I don't know. <laughs> 100 grams-ish. Um, but, you know, it's it's all about... See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I just chuck this together at home. You know I do. So then I've got the rum, and that is... Oh, that's very rummy, and I'm just well, I ought to measure that in, I suppose. Why? Um, it's down here. No, it's not. It's over here. Oh, right, there okay. we go. Yeah. So here we go. Let's be sensible about this. We've got a measure. Sensible? You're never sensible. So there you go. There's a double shot of rum in there, and then just another one, just to make sure it's rummy. Is that all you're going to use? Well, it's four shots of rum. I think okay. that's plenty. Oh. It's not, I mean, you're not going to be drinking it anyway, and we just need to get that sugar dissolved in that rum and all we're going to do we're going to run this up on the um on the grill excuse me and uh, i've lost my cloth but never mind um running this up on the barbecue mm -hmm. so that gets all bubbly mm -hmm. and starts to get into a caramelly mm -hmm. type situation mm -hmm. and then we're going to pop some butter in and then make that a really lovely buttery type um, sort of sauce. So we'll go to the Kadak now and we'll get this on the butter, on the bubble, take the butter down with us, mm -hmm. pop that in it, and then once we've got the sauce just as we want it, mm -hmm. we'll come back, we'll do the uh, pineapple. We'll do the pineapple. As in we'll cut it, chop mm -hmm. it, slice mm -hmm. it, then we'll take it down to the Kadak, mm -hmm. then we'll ooze all this sort of buttery, sugary, rummy sauce over it, mm -hmm. where we'll barbecue the pineapple, oh, that sounds nice. and then we'll see how we get on. Okay. Back to you in a few seconds. Right, here we are, back again. We've got the Kadak on the go here, full heat, the little pans on the top there, and then We've got that rum and that dark brown sugar in there. What does it smell like? It smells like rum and sugar, of probably. rum and dark brown sugar. <laughs> no, it smells sort of like Caribbean and yummy and loveliness. Absolutely. And that is all now, all that sugar has actually dissolved. So that's now starting to become just perfect. So what happens oh. now? So I'm going to take the butter. Not all of it. Well, a lot of it. It's got to be buttery and it's got to be quite thick. Okay. So there we go. Okay, I, I, I don't know. You're the chef. I don't understand these things. And we just want to pop that butter in That's there. That's real butter, isn't it? That's, That's real butter. Yeah. That's not plastic butter, artificial butter, butter that pretends it's not butter. Or I can't really believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not butter. Yeah, but this is, oh. so... <laughs> all we need to do is we need to start to bring oh, I can smell all that yeah. now. Mm. And, and I think if you think you've got that creamy buttery taste, you're going to have that rum in there. And the whole idea is just to get this all together, all dissolving together. Um, we're not boiling it, we're not caramelising it, we're not doing any of that. We just want that rum to blend in with that sugar and that butter. And then we can start to use it 
has a bit of a... Uh, What's those lumps on the butter? That's just the brown sugar. Some oh, of right. the lumps of the brown sugar. That oh, right, okay. hasn't dissolved yet. It's not that it's burnt or anything? No, absolutely not. Oh, I'll just check. That's not burning. I don't burn things. No, okay. Do I? Well, I do. So I just thought... I'd well, check that's them. why you don't do the cooking, no, I isn't it? <laughs> I know. Yeah, what, what's the sign say in our kitchen? If um, you can't smell burning, it must, must be a be salad. salad. Yeah. <laughs> So there we go. That butter is. So you're not nearly... boiling it at all. You're just warming it. Just warming that it looks through. Like it's it is me. boiling, but the butter hasn't quite dissolved yet. Well, you can take it off the heat now, surely. No, it I'm really much. worried it's going to burn. <laughs> it's going to taste horrible. That, well, the more we keep moving it, yeah. There we go. That. Now, take it off the heat. Is just about it. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to take that off the heat. Mm -hmm. Turn Kadak off. Mm -hmm. and we're just going to leave that outside here. Mm -hmm. Now to cool down. I can't believe how quickly that came to the boil. If you put a, some of the water in there, water, water in there. I think it's the boiling point of yeah. butter and sugar is. I'm sure there's a scientist out there that will leave us a message. Probably. Is a lot less than water. And, yeah, that's amazing. And that smell. I can smell it from here actually. Yeah, that's buttery. Yeah. That's rummy. That's mm. sugary. And that is just how. We want that. Heaven, really. Don't put the it only extra on the thing we here. could do if we wanted was yeah. to put cream in it, but we're not going to put cream in it no, today. No. So let's just leave that on there, yeah. just cooling down nicely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll go back into the van yeah. and let's prepare. Actually, should we bring the, the stuff pineapple. outside? We don't need to sit yeah. in the van. Um, do we? Yeah, can do. It's yeah. a nice day. Yeah. Okay. So here we are. We've got a pineapple, <laughs> Excuse giant me. pineapple from Morrison's. Not that big, I'm not it? sure what their idea of giant is, but there you go. I'd like to see the tiny ones. Yeah, so would I. So all we're going to do is prepare it. We're going to chop that lid off the top. Is there anything you can do with the top of a pineapple lid? Well, I suppose you could put it on a table like that and, and put fairy lights around it. Okay, right. If you wanted to. It's going to take a bit more off there. Didn't quite take enough of that. There you go. So. Let's just take the bottom off that as well. But you need to have a sharp knife, really, don't you? That is quite a sharp knife, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> and all we're going to do, I'm not going to take the core out. I'm just going to take the... Why don't you take the core out? Well, I'll show you. Once I've peeled it and sliced it, then okay. I'll show you the reason why I'm going to leave okay. that core in the middle there. Okay. So we're just going to take the sides off there. Just try and take that off. Shall I go around this way so we can actually see what we're doing? Take those off like that. Take that skin off. We can trim it up when we're finished. Oh, this, that, that smells lovely. Does it smell pineapple -y? It smells, um, yeah, sort of um, pineapple -y. Pineapple -y. Wow. Um, I suppose you could cheat. You could buy a tin of pineapple. Um, nah, this is real hard, isn't it? Tins of pineapple isn't hard. Um, but also a tin of pineapple, I don't think you'd get much cheaper because I think this was only a pound oh, right, in uh, Morrison's. How do they get it all the way from Pineapple Land to Morrison's for a pound? It just makes you laugh, doesn't well, it? I suppose really? it comes over. Easy jet. Ah, of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it must come on the, on the uh, cheap seats. Right, so I think we're okay there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to move that onto the table there. And then all we're going to do is to slice that. So let's just have a look see... Hang on, if you're going to slice it, how many people could actually have it if you're slicing it? Well, this one, I'm just working that out. I think I could get six slices out of this. All right, then. Not feeding the entire campsite, then? Just the special ones? Well, who, what if somebody doesn't want a whole bit, they just want a, a bit of it? Well, they can cut it up afterwards. Can they? I'm doing this for effect. Okay. Okay. So I think one, two, three, four, five six slices should be able to get six good slices out of that one two three four oh might be able to get seven five seven there you go okay seven nice slices no yeah seven slices that one's the first one's a bit thin but do you want to just chop that little tiny bit of black bit off there okay, and, uh, right then. let's just be 
nice to be. Yeah, yep. there we go. Right. So now the reason yeah. I'm leaving that core in there is because when we've barbecued it, mm. you want to be able to pick it up. And that core is a lot harder. And if you actually take a fork and stab that into the middle, yeah. you can then pick that piece of uh, pineapple up and eat it, it like a lollipop. Or you can chop it up and give it to your friends. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, not everybody wants the whole pineapple. Well, you haven't got that many friends. Uh, I have. Uh, yeah, okay. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to marinate this mm. in that rum and that sugar and that butter and then pop it back onto the kadak and start to grill it slowly. So let's get that prepared. We'll come back to you again very soon and you can then watch, see how it goes. So what we've got, we've got the kadak on the go. We're using our kadak. Um, well, it's not a Kadak product, it's actually a barbecue mat on the top just to save a little bit of mess. We're using the griddle there, that's on and ready to roll. And what we're going to do is just slide this into this sugar and rum and butter. Not sure if we're going to get all of them in there, but we'll only get four on mm. the Kadak, I think, in the first place. Just, um, just give that a bit of marinating, a bit of a soak. And then the whole idea, it's like a barbecue sauce, mm. but this isn't like a spicy barbecue sauce. This is a sort of toffee type barbecue sauce, brown sugar, mm -hmm. butter. Well, you've seen it, all that rum that's gone in there. Absolutely gorgeous. And then when this is hot, it's almost getting there. We're gonna pop those slices on the top here. Now the whole idea is not to cook this really fast. Mm -hmm. The whole idea is actually to give it a bit of a slow burn because then we keep spooning some of this sauce on it um, over the top of it once it starts to sort of dissolve. Mm -hmm. So let's give it a try first. Mm -hmm. Let's go for slice number one. See what happens. See what happens. Oh, got a bit of a sizzle going on there. Slice number two. There we go. And it's almost like we want it, if we can, to try and caramelise. Three. Slice number four. I think we'll just do four now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We'll do save some more later, because uh, we have got people sniffing around us, mm -hmm, haven't we, mm -hmm. that, that want some of this. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea now is just to, I think I'm just going to turn that down. Mm -hmm to half cock, so it's in between full and not full. So it's, it's medium. Um, you can see that sizzling now. I think it's best that you do have the mat on here because it is going to save some of that, mm. um, you know, sort of Are mess. Are you going to turn it regularly? I'm going to turn it regularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the whole idea now is just to give that a good cook. The pineapple doesn't necessarily need cooking. No. It's not a, a fruit that you have to cook to eat it. But the whole idea is to, to, get, that, it bit, yeah, to get that buttery, to get that sugary sweetness and that mm -hmm. rumminess in there, just as a different dessert. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that, that's all we're doing. So let's just give that a quick turn now. And we just want to slippery little suckers. Might not have needed quite so much butter and sugar actually when you think about it. Oh, we, we will. Oh, will we? Trust me, this should, what we need to do is feed it. Oh, okay. We need to feed that. So once it starts to get a bit dry, then you've got another spoonful on. Because not only will you get that on the top, but you'll get the caramelizy bit going on on the mat, and that will sort of get into that. Gloopy. Yeah, gloopy sort of caramelizedness. So we'll leave that cooking for another two or three minutes. Okay. Um, we'll put the lid on and then we'll come back to you shortly. Okay, so that's been about three minutes. Let's just take the lid off. You can see that starting to get... It smells lovely. ...quite caramelly. You can see how it's sort of caramelising here. And I'm not going to turn it yet. All I'm going to do is just take just another little drop. Just lay that on the top. And then we'll come back again in a minute and then give that a turn. Lid back on, two or three minutes. And by the way, this is turned right down low you now. Turned it down, so it? because it's still going sizzle, 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 mm. um, I've turned that right down low. Um, so yeah, let's just give it another couple of minutes. We'll come back and we'll give it a turn. 
Right, two minutes later, let's take a quick look. Give it a quick turn again. Just take that and just turn that over. You can almost see now that All that, that barbecue that's, that's bits. lovely. There's barbecue bits. You can almost see now how that is. You can see in the pineapple that that um, barbecue sauce is now starting to seep in there. Mm. So that is really nice. Not a dollop on there. Dollop on there. Dollop on there. Dollop on there. We'll leave that three minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll see what it looks like. Right, three minutes later, let's have a look. Oh, what's that smell like, Mrs. T? Absolutely, bloody gorgeous. It does, doesn't mm. it? You can see it's all caramelising on here. Absolutely lovely. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. Yeah, that's lovely. That's still quite slippery. I'm just going to move these around just to give them a better chance of getting some colour on them. But yeah, a pineapple upside down cake, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. It certainly has that smell, doesn't it? Mm. So, yeah. A little drizzle there again on the top. Another drizzle. Another drizzle there. Can we freeze that sauce? Or anything? Do you know? Um... I think we might have a lot left over. I don't know whether it would freeze because mm. of the alcohol. Mm, good point, yeah. Um, but you could certainly have it on your cornflakes in the morning. <laughs> good, thank you. Because you have sugar. Yeah. You don't have butter. No. You don't have rum. No. Toast? Well, actually, will that, that solidify would, oh, back up to butter again? Rum butter. Rum butter. Ooh. Rum butter would be like a rum butter. You can put it on I a... I tell you what, we've got an, we've got a, a, an old little, um, uh, oh, what they call it, one of those... Last year's Christmas yeah, pudding. Yeah, one of those tiny Christmas puddings <laughs> in the van. Perhaps there you go, Christmas there. pudding on the Cadex Pro Chef 2. <laughs> we've got to do it. Right, lid on. <laughs> Give us another three minutes and then we'll come back. Perfect. Okay, how many minutes? Oh, about four. Four. We were chatting, yeah. didn't yeah, we? we were chatting. Got chatting on. Oh, look at that. Really going lovely and caramelised. And don't forget, all this is is pineapple with butter and brown sugar, dark brown sugar, and a good dollop of spice rum. That's it. It's perfect. So we're going to go for another quick swap over. So I'm going to move them around into a different location. Can you sort of like mush up the, the nice caramelisty bits as well? I suppose I could do a bit. Yeah, so it sort of goes over it. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. We were talking um, off camera about it being like a sticky toffee pudding type sauce. Oh yeah, the, the, we've, we've just had we a just bit. Had a taste, we've yeah. just had a taste of the sauce. And it is very, um, oh, it's a bit slippery that one. Mm. It, it tastes like, it is a toffee. Yeah. It's definitely a toffee flavour in the sauce. But then you get that rum kick oh, coming real through. Kick, yeah. Wasn't it afterwards? So that's nice. Stick another spoonful of sauce on the top there and all you can see I'm doing there's no pressure here it's not you know you're on a campsite you're not in a hurry it's all a bit chilled let's just take a time make a nice little dessert kick your feet back have a glass of wine Bob's your uncle catch you again in another three minutes Okay, right, here we are. We've turned them another twice, yeah, I think, yeah. since the last one. I so didn't, didn't want them to get too bored with every did. time. <laughs> so we did about three minutes each side again. Um, obviously, we marinated again as we went along. And I think we should just mm. be... So you can see that now. You can see how that pineapple has taken on a different colour. Not just because you've got the grilled colour there. You've got the colour there from that brown sugar, the butter... You know, it's taken and absorbed all that into it. I mean, all we need to do is just serve that up on a plate. It's hard to do because it's slippery, looks like us. Just like that. And then people can come and help themselves with a fork or a cocktail stick. Just stab it in the middle because that middle bit is still quite. No again. Hard. And it means that you get a good grip on it. And then you can chomp your way around that. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
That is really, really nice. All you need to do then is just, I'd say, take a little bit more sauce, mm -hmm. drizzle that over the top. I said it's like a sticky toffee pudding sauce. And there you go, a really nice dessert to have on the Cadax Safari Chef 2. Absolutely lovely. All right, then can't wait to start. Thank yeah, you very much. Brilliant. Look, guys, if you found that of interest, please, please, please give us a thumbs up. We would really, really appreciate it, wouldn't we, Mrs. T? We certainly Hit would. Hit that red button and subscribe because the more you subscribe, the more the little things like that we can bring you and show you. And if you've got any ideas, you know, would it be good with squirty cream? Would it be good with oh fresh cream? Oh my God, it'd be lovely. Let yeah. us know because let's have some of those ideas as well. Thanks very much, everybody, for watching. We really appreciate it. Stay safe and bye for now.